Hello reformers and welcome back to Elix. Now when we left off we were jumping over a disabled bridge and we were now walking down a mountain. Now I don't know whether I should actually... Ooh. Okay. I take it back. I was just about to say I don't know whether I should just jump off the mountain and uh, you know use my jetpack to cushion my fall. But that seems to be a bit premature thinking perhaps because we've now just gained a good amount of well, stuff. As you can see, there's a worn notebook that we've just received, and it might be an idea to read it. The mountain should provide us with protection against the elements, and stop unwanted visitors. Now the huts are completed, we're ready to stay. Day 18. I sent my people out to explore the area. We need to know the land to change the land. Day 19. One of the guys introduced me to the story of the secret tavern. We really gave him a piece of our minds. Day 20. The newbie disappeared. We looked everywhere. Not a trace of him. Day 21. While searching, we actually found a cave entrance. We only just got away from the mutants in there. We weren't able to help the newbie. Hopefully they won't follow us. Right. Well, that's not very good, is it? Okay, so there's a piece of a larger map. I should probably just read all of these things here. And, uh, yeah, just to make sure that we've read it all. And, yeah, that's it. Okay. Right, so there's a cave nearby, apparently. And the cave apparently has a bunch of mutants inside. Oh, what the? What is that? <gasps> Whatever it is, it's giving me experience. Thank you very much. And you're giving me some, oh wow, wood lice meat. Oh my. Uh, that's a bit disgusting, isn't it? All right, well, let's, let's, um, yeah, let's just move on, shall we? Yeah, but as I say, I think it might be worth it to head down the mountain. <laughs> uh, coming down the mountain, you know, you know that thing, yeah. Let's, let's not do that. So, yeah, anyway, the point is is that it might be pretty good because we might come across a bunch of really pretty awesome things that we would have missed otherwise. And we don't really want to miss those things. I'm, 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 as I say, I am going to take this a little bit slower than I would usually because this is an RPG. And we do want to make sure that everything is explored to the best of its ability. The, uh, I... I don't know what's going on here, but someone apparently forgot to extend the rocks a little bit more. Yes. <laughs> All right. Okay, what's that? What is this? Ah, there's... Oh, yes. What is this? It's a cave bird. There's also something else around here, by the way. It's one of those boar things. Okay, where, where, where are you at? Where are you at? There it is. Come on now. Yes, special. Oh, I don't have the special attack, unfortunately. Okay, I'm just going to avoid it. There we go. Just avoid it. Okay, I tried my best to get the timing right, but I, I'm not entirely sure what the timing is. Do you, do, you, do you click when it hits, or do you click when you're swinging? I don't know. I guess I'm just going to have to figure that out. All right, so let's see. There's a rat. Goodbye. I don't know why I said goodbye to the rat, but okay. There we are. Pick up all the loot. Ah, message from an exile. Okay. Ah, and ah, the world's most powerful toilet paper. We want it. Thank you. All right. So let's go and see what this is. The probability that the author survived is very low. Thank you very much. You fucking bastards. May the Alb combat robots overrun your cursed city of Goliath and the Alps torture you to death for exiling me here. All I wanted was to survive. It just took me too long to learn your magic. So using a firearm from the old world to survive makes me a criminal? You say life is sacred and then leave me out here to die defenseless. What am I supposed to defend myself with? With one of your cheese knives? You don't even follow your own rules. Goliath is full of hypocrites. Ah, oh, well, apparently they should be cursed. Oh, and you should all rot. That's what he said at the end. What a wonderful person. But I suppose he was exiled, so that's it's not very nice, is it? Right, so what's this do? Not entirely sure. Plasma cells. Ooh, that should be pretty cool. Oh yeah, by the way, I think I um yeah, I think I got told that I need to go back and pick up one of those cleric weapons. And I, I think I mentioned that in the previous episode as well, that I did neglect to pick up the last one. So let's push this switch and actually see what happens. Nothing. This is a lift that I could have used to get down here. Yeah. I probably could have done that. Don't roll. How dare you. I don't know why he's rolling. He's just rolling, rolling, rolling. You know, because we're apparently going, coming down the mountain and doing a convoy. What's going on with that? Okay, this is not something that... 
Yeah, this is not something that I actually wanted to fight. That is much, much more difficult than I expected. Alright, so I've now come back to just the point where we were previously, just before I got absolutely massacred by that bird, and I'm just like, how does a bird do that? Uh, yeah, it just has a really big beak, I guess. Anyway, we're going to be teleporting to this small camp over here because that actually takes us a little bit closer to our objective, which is, of course, the next murder suspect. And we're able to then move along this road here and then hopefully not get absolutely massacred by everything else along the way. So, without further ado, let's make our way up here. Actually, wait a minute. This is where the, the potential cleric weapons are. So maybe I can I can do something here. Maybe I can actually... Should I use that ladder? Or? Oh, now I'm thinking that I should really... I should really do something here. Okay, well, what about the campfire? Let's let's just get all of this meat cooked and everything. And that's obviously going to make a huge difference to our health reserves and things like that. So, yeah, otherwise we have some magnesium... Wait a minute. Some magnesium torches? Did I completely neglect actually doing anything here? Did I not find these things? Oh, weird. All right. Well, I suppose that's absolutely fine. Huh. Okay, so should I go inside here? I guess I should go inside here. Maybe I should use the ladder. Hello, anything else around here? There's a there's a rat. Hmm, it doesn't seem like there's anything else in here. I think I have looted most of this before, but I don't know where the last cleric weapon is. I guess I'm going to just look around a little bit. Alright, so I did a little bit of searching and I found out that I did not go into this area here because, of course, we were following Doris and he put a little bit of pressure on me. So I was just like, oh, okay, I must have searched everywhere. But no, no, apparently I did not search in this small room. Now, if you're also playing alongside me or you just like to know where it is, it's right next to these yellow generators and you can just go into this little door here. Alright, so let's pick up the bundle of old world money. I don't know how much that's going to give us. And there's the cleric as well as a cleric prayer book. Shall we read the prayer book first? Carlin, or K K is it Kalen or Carlin? Uh, Carlin, you ask our devotion to knowledge that we preserve technology. We spread your message throughout the land. Convert the non-believers in your great name. Carlin, we will follow your path until the day of salvation, remaining pure in thought until the day we meet. All right. And there you go. I've now completed that quest and we've gained another level. Yes. Okay, so we got the we got the cleric weapon. Oh, a recipe. Instructions to make small energy reserve. Huh. All right. Well, thanks for that. That's very nice. And I have leveled up. So if I go over here, we could take a look at our attribute points. Now, apparently, this does not improve your damage passively. Apparently this only has an effect on what kind of weapons you're able to use, which is a bit perplexing to me because I would have assumed that you would have been able to use basically any weapon and then be able to, you know, just receive the benefits from strength or whatever the case may be. Now, as you can see, you need 33 strength to be able to use this and 23 constitution. So I guess what I'm going to do is I'm just going to improve my strength a little bit more here and I'm going to improve my constitution to 23 just so that I have a little bit more and I'm bound to need it, I guess. Let's apply the changes to that. I absolutely forgot to do that before I exited the menu. So it's actually kind of handy that it tells you, oh, should you want to apply that, you lazy oaf? Yeah, because obviously I didn't press the X button. But yeah, anyway, point is we are now done in this area. And we can now make our way onward. So let us make our way north, I suppose. I did not need to use my jetpack. Alright, so I've made my way over here, and it seems like there is a highway, or a very, very large road here. And, well, I found a couple of energy drinks and some bottled water over there by that overturned truck, and that's where we came from, just over there. So, this is, hmm, this might actually yield some pretty decent results if I don't get killed by that thing. Because, that thing's most likely kind of deadly, isn't it? It's probably going to be. Let's just be a little bit careful here, because I don't really want to engage something that I can't necessarily kill. Let's have a look. Can I not target that? Uh, okay, is it is it is it deadly to me? It's uh, it's not. I don't. I I think I can take this. I think I can take this if I have full full you know stamina and stuff. There we go. 
I was hopeful that the finishing move would actually finish it for once. Alright, there you go. Not too bad. So I can tackle those, not eh, not extremely efficiently, but you know, at least I'm not taking too much damage from it, I suppose. All right, let's take a look here. Okay, so if we go up here, I think... Oh, that's a raptor. Yeah, I probably don't want to fight that. I, apparently, I can fight raptors, by the way. I'm just really bad at it. I don't know. I mean, they don't have a skull by the next... You know, by, by you know next to their name or anything. So, technically, they should be perfectly eligible for slaying. But, yes, me specifically, or maybe just because I don't really have the best weapon at the moment. Maybe that's just causing me not to be able to use it. I probably should have dedicated myself to leveling up strength now that I think about it, because obviously strength is going to be the thing that you mostly need for certain weapons. Obviously for the more thievery style weapons, like bows and maybe daggers and maybe some faster swords or something like that, probably need dexterity for that, but obviously... You know, I, I kind of just thought getting a little dexterity might help. Okay, so here's where it gets a little bit weird because... Uh-huh, okay. I might be going off the beaten track a little bit too much. Aren't I? Am I? I guess I'm just going to have to explore around a little bit here. <coughs> I did not want to take damage, thank you. Ah, there we go, there we go. Okay, this might be the road that we need. I think. Yes, I think so. I think so. So if I keep going up this way, that should lead me to where we need to go. And, oh, oh, okay, magnesium torches. I always find it quite nice how they always give you some magnesium torches whenever you're going into a potentially dark area. I actually used a magnesium torch a little bit of time ago in the place where the cleric weapons were and I used it just because there was a completely pitch black room and I thought okay let's try it out a little bit and it's actually pretty cool you light one and then you can drop it anywhere you want and you know it's it's pretty good you could just carry it around if you so desire but I don't think you can then put it out so you have to just use it and then that's it all right, so let's take that. Is there anything else here? I want to make sure that I'm picking up everything because that, that is the name of the game for the most part. We want to make sure that we have everything that we possibly need. Where is this? Wait a minute. This is this is the starting area. This is where I initially came out, isn't it? It's just, it's dark, so I can't tell. Oh, that's fantastic, isn't it? Okay, so I guess this gives me a good opportunity to light a magnesium torch so you can actually see what it looks like. Pretty cool, right? Yeah, I think it's pretty cool. You can't throw it, as far as I'm aware. Okay, so I'm going to try and avoid getting absolutely massacred by this guy. And hopefully, we'll be able to make our way over... Ah! Yes, make our way over <laughs> to where we need to be. Ah, bad things abound. Bad things abound. I've just come across a structure with what looks like to be albs. They look they look like albs to me, so I, I'm I'm thinking probably not the best idea to go over there, is it? No, not the best idea. So thankfully I seem to be oh, I seem to be okay. Heal. Yes. Okay. Now run away. Run. Run. Yes. Run, you imbecile. Okay, so there you go. He's actually he's actually running away, so that's good. There we go. Oh, and now we have a bunch of raptors. <laughs> oh my. Okay, this probably was not the best idea to go out when it was just getting nighttime. But sometimes you're able to see some of the coolest... Ow. Some of the coolest things when it's nighttime, right? Yeah? No? Yeah? No. No, probably not. No, probably not. Certainly not because I am getting nommed on very very badly right now. Okay, so can I can I drink this while I'm running? I can. Oh, fantastic. Good feature. I like that. I like that in a game where you're able to run and chug healing potions as you're running. Yes, fantastic. Okay, so I think I should be... Uh, they're still running after me, but I should be okay. I should be far enough. Oh, what's that? What is that? That is a very high-tech, whatever it is, thingamadoodle. And hopefully it's not going to rain death and destruction upon us. 
stickers. Knowing my luck, it probably will. All right, so we've arrived finally, and we are now in the... Uh, of course, I would take falling damage on the way in here, wouldn't I? But yeah, we've now arrived here, and as you can see, it's this very, very large something or other. Don't know what it is, but this guy, Thorgal, is apparently looking after it. You've done well getting here alive. Are you a sentry here? Yes. My name is Thorgal. Just stay clear of the world hot while you're here, then we'll get along fine. There won't be any shit, okay? Anything happening around here that I should know about? I don't know. We don't have the manpower to patrol outside the Palisade. It's pretty dangerous out there. You'll need to keep an eye open. There are plenty of ambush sites. What are you doing here? Take a wild guess. The large plant should give you a clue. We've spent a lot of blood protecting this world heart. Lives of the present to build a future for us all. Your post seems undermanned. Ragnar sent the men we could spare. I sent some of them, with one of our cultivators, to a farm near the domed city. We thought they would be able to drum up some supplies for us, but instead, they've disappeared. It can't be good that they aren't back yet. It's bad enough that the group is missing, but Rock, our cultivator, is gone too. I really need Rock to help me look after the world heart. He's the expert. I can look for this missing cultivator. You would? That would be helpful, but be careful. There has to be a reason why he hasn't returned yet, and you might just walk into it. The farm Rock went to is below the Dome City. You should look for him there. Ascor is dead. Dead? What the hell happened to him? He was murdered. Damn. I knew it. He was just too ambitious. Can you think of anyone who might have done it? Me? No. Well, not specifically. He's ambitious. What was ambitious. He always wanted to become a paladin. Last I heard, he was due to be tested by Ragnar along with some other candidates. Passing that test was all he ever wanted. So, what do you think got him murdered? I don't know. Askor was a good man. Well, he was to me. But he could wind people up. Maybe he got the wrong person pissed with him. Maybe someone else was as ambitious as him. You knew Askor well? Yeah, I asked if he could come out here on this assignment. But he stayed back in Goliath so he could take the warrior test. When did you last see Ascor? Just over three months ago. Not long before I came out here. How long have you been away from Goliath? Just over three months. Since then, I've been here, trying to survive in the beautiful islands of Abessa. <laughs> trying to manage an outpost with too few people and too few supplies. And you have witnesses to your whereabouts? Yeah. More if we can find that missing supply team. This camp by the World Heart is where I've been, and this is where I'll stay until the Warlords order me back. You must be good with a sword to have got posted out here. Not good enough to hit someone in a dam from here, if that's what you mean. It's obvious you didn't do it. Yeah, well, I hope you'll find who did. I think Ragnar must just have wanted you eliminated from suspicion. He said to question me? Yes. Duras told me. Duras? Well, he's a man who stands by his duty. I hope the two of you find the murderer. I'm working on it. Look into whoever might have been a rival for Askor. That's my advice. Ah, thank you. Thank you very much. So, yes, we're pro... <laughs> well, we have... Uh, kind of spoken to a, a bunch of them, and... I, I'm still kind of not really... Knowing who to suspect, I, I I would expect the first guy that we spoke to, you know, the one that is a cultivator and is just like looking after things. I mean, he's not going to be able to deal with Ascor because Ascor is really good at fighting, so he wouldn't be able to do it. But maybe that, maybe his best friend. I think his best friend who said, oh, you've got to be happy with your station and so on and so forth, but he, uh, our character did say that he didn't do it, so maybe maybe that's also something we should take into account. Uh, I don't know. It's very, very tricky. Very tricky. Maybe I just have to look at the evidence after we are... Oh, my! After we are done questioning all of them. Let us, let us get away from this particular area because there seems to be something very, very large coming after me. That's going to kill me in one hit. I am pretty sure that is going to kill me in one hit. So let's try and avoid that fate, please. There we go. All right. Okay, so what is that? 
What is this over here? Thank you. Okay, don't, don't worry about me. Don't worry, don't worry. Uh, uh, no, uh, uh. Yes. <laughs> I was just thinking to myself, uh, I want to pick up all this stuff because it looks really cool. Didn't really help me out that much, did it? No. All right, well, at least I'm here. I saw the autosave, so that's why I was a little bit more reckless than I otherwise perhaps would have been. And with that, I will end this episode off here. Next time, we're going to be making our way over to the final... Yeah, the final person who just so happens to be Rock. And that's one of the quests that we have just gotten from Thorgau, so that's wonderful. I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.